Hi guys, in this video we will model this part. Let's open a new part and begin. We create first a part and then in the front plane we will create a sketch. First thing I would like to do, place here a rectangle. Something like this. Then control is pressed and I select origin and my line and I say here midpoint. Now everything converted to construction geometry. Here I will have a value of 70. Here I will have a value of 45. Correct it. 45. After this operation, we pick an arc. Gain. We pick an arc. And here we place an arc. Then align and define here this construction geometry. This is only for measurement convenience. 8 mm. Now what we're gonna do is just send a simple offset, reverse offset, 3 mm, and operation done. And I would like to extend this to the edge, extend lines, click here and click here, and we are good to go. And I select surfaces, then I select revolve surface. He will ask me an axis of revolution. I define it and I close it. From top plane, I will look normal to. I select a sketch and I will draw a line as you see on the screen. Here as well. And let's move this one, select this one, and convert to the construction geometry, and select three of them by left mouse click, left mouse button is click, and make them symmetric. Here I will have a value of 10. Good. We close the sketch, and I select one plane, I go to split line, intersection, and front plane automatically uh, get to selections and we break the surface and with the second sketch I go to split line projection active and this surface will be break at the end we got a three surface three edge on existing surfaces we go to loft I select first this edge and then second to this edge and I close this and I go loft again I select this edge I select this edge and I close again so if I hide first two surface at the end I got something like this I select net surface and I need them here I define a radius which is one now we will make a circle pattern. Origin is selected and control is pressed. I select top line, uh, plane and I select axis. Axis selected, I go to features and circular pattern. I select bodies because this is a surface body now and I copy it 36 times because the angle was 10, 360 divided by 36 it is 10 degrees it is good to go now uh, next surface select everything I close my uh, operation I will try to select this loop let's say open tangency it's not working open loop select it planner surface and close yes and because we know height, we can or make a uh, linear pattern. Linear pattern, for example, direction will ask us top plane and bodies will be this guy. And we will convert this to two. And direction 70 
and in this direction. So we copied it. What we're gonna now do now is create a uh, close value. Surfaces, it's surface because we have two sets of this planner and one set of this special surface that we created. So I select create solid. This will be converted to a solid body now and you will see on the part section in the, our uh, feature tree. And I will show it once this operation is done. Takes a bit of time. Yes, guys, it is created, and you see in the solid bodies. Now we have two sets of surface body, which was initially created, and now we have a solid body. So what we're gonna do now, and assign first fillets. Let's do that. It will be a painful operation, and we will select 36. My operation completed, and I created radius 1 on these edges as well. So we are quite a lot done in fact, but uh, we will finish operation with uh, some several uh, extra operations. Split line first will be active now. This was at surface and I look from front. And then I create here a line as you see on the screen. So I will combine this line with an extra line and this line now will be vertical it is the mid plane and we will give here an angle of 105 and you're gonna ask me what is our height and this is 25 once we are done with this we close sketch split line and we select this so surface will be splitted as you see on the screen I will remove unnecessary parts this two is unnecessary. Delete here, active. And we got this. What we're gonna do now, select this delete face, taken. Taken will be inwards, this is in, inwards, this is both sides, this is outwards. 10 is looking more, but uh, let's say, sorry, I was wrong. It seems shifted, will be inward. And we can say here also merge result. Okay, now we're gonna get one body. I see some because of surface orientation, some little problem. We will fix it in this way. Bottom, you create a sketch, convert this edge, close it, and features extra post base five direction and it is done last operation creating a sketch 75 then we will cut extrude cut option offset from surface 5 millimeter offset will be done and I select this bottom surface and I create here a 3 de degree angle so it will be cut it angly and I pick a fillet I say here three say bottom also three let's do that not harm anyone and at the end we got this nice baby and you can assign some colors and change the display state it's look it looks no bad not bad so here also it is good guys it is done and you see it is very simple if I would uh, briefly explain the steps first we create two sets of surface and then I made first splits let's say display change display state so I break first out of a surface then inner surface then two time load and a surface knit of the new set of surface because then we will have a lot of surface each each bit thing, things will be doubled we create a fillet and axis and after an axis it is patterned so we will here here uh, multiply the double size of uh, surface if we wouldn't uh, need it so one more time surface knit and you see number of individual surfaces are uh, dropping individual sur surface bodies then we close it plane linear pattern 
we copied it as surface in it operation and then we convert in that step to an uh, a body solid body some fillet operation split on the outer line hmm, to cut this nice shape and taken inwards both extrude and cut fillet fillet so you could do this operation with a simple revolve also cut that revolve and then combine it a lot of things possible guys and very flat this is very flexible uh, the way of working over the years to develop will allow you to choose the best way you would like to continue and uh, thanks for watching my video if you like it please hit the like button make a comment i appreciate it